Hi boys and girls. Today's story is about a farm. And a farm is a place where you might have a lot of animals. It's also a place where you can grow vegetables, and grass, hay, corn, all sorts of things. Most of us don't get to live near a farm. I would love to live near a farm, would you? The seasons are changing, and with every season change, there are different things that go on at the farm. In today's story, you're going to see that a farm is a pretty busy place for almost the entire year. I hope you enjoy this story. The Year at Maple Hill Farm, written and illustrated by Alice and Martin Provenson. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. This is a book about farm animals and what happens during one year on a farm. The year is divided into 12 months. The months are divided into weeks, the weeks into days, the days into minutes, and on a farm something is happening every minute. Animals don't know there is such a thing as a year, but they do know about seasons. Animals know when the cold will come and they grow heavy overcoats. They know when it is summer and they shed them. When it is hot, they look for shade and in winter, they look for shelter. People have names for what they call the months of the year. We could start with any month as far as the animals are concerned, but it is usual to begin with January. January is a winter month. The ground is covered with snow. It is a cold gray time of year and night falls early. Cows stay in the barnyard when the ground is frozen. So do the chickens, but not many eggs are laid in January. The days are too short and dark. The horses don't mind the cold. Neither do the sheep with their heavy winter coats. All the farm animals stay close to the barn where they are fed. There is hay and grain to eat. Even the wild deer come near the farm, hoping to find a little salt or a windfall apple under the snow. February follows January. The forest pond is frozen solid, all but a marshy place where the spring water feeds the pond. The children are having a skating party. When they are cold, they sit by the fire and toast their toes and noses. The geese play in the icy water all winter. You'd think their bare feet would freeze, but they never do. The noisy rooks are having a circus. They toss and tumble on the trapezes of bare branches. Rooks like winter. Under the ice, in a tunnel in the frozen ground, the water rat is napping. He won't be up until spring. March is a windy month. It is still cold outside, but you can tell spring is coming. There are signs of spring in the barn. March is windy and rainy, but when the sun does shine, it shines more brightly and the days are longer. There are signs of spring everywhere. The pony has given birth to a foal. She loves him and looks after him. The milk cow has a new calf. She loves him and gives him her milk. The good gray barn cat has her litter of kittens in the hay rack. The mother ewe has two new lambs. The nanny goat has a new kid too. All the animal mothers are proud and protective and full of love. The robins are back and are busy building their nests. A wild duck is in the marsh marigolds. The rooster wakes everyone earlier in the morning. The geese are cranky. They must have laid an egg. The meadow mice are out looking around. The mad March hare is hurrying in all directions. The ice on the pond has melted and there are pussy willows. The horses have found a little grass under the last patches of snow. They lie down in the pale sunshine. You don't see that often if the ground is frozen. April is a spring month. You can tell that spring is here by all the eggs. Eggs in the barn, in the fields, in the trees, under the eaves, everywhere. The good old brown hen has been busy sitting on eggs for 21 days. Now her baby chicks are hatching. It must be hard to pick your way out of an egg, but the chicks are pretty and fluffy in no time. 
The robins are already hatching eggs in their business-like way. This silly goose has laid an egg in the middle of nowhere. She must be crazy. This big bird is laying her egg in a little bird's nest. She must be cuckoo. This little bird is feeding her babies. She must wonder why one baby is so big. Here's a basket of colored eggs among the flowers. No one has found it yet. Dogs steal eggs when they can find them and carry them away. Perhaps dogs make nests too. May days are warm. The animals are uncomfortable with their heavy coats. They will all be cooler without them. Even the chickens molt. Everyone gets a haircut one way or another. The woolly sheep are shorn. The black sheepdog is shorn at the same time. Not a very fancy clip. She will scarcely be recognizable without her long curls, but they will grow back in time for winter and she will look like herself again. The rooster won't be himself until he can parade his fine tail feathers again. June is the first month of summer. The farm pond is overflowing. The pasture is green. All the animals enjoy the new green grass. Horses eat grass. Geese eat grass. Cows and sheep and goats eat grass. Chickens eat grass too. But that's not the reason the chickens are out in the pasture. They are chasing insects. The horses stir up insects with their big feet. Chickens love insects. The mother duck is out on the pond. She is teaching her ducklings to swim. Someone else is out today too. The good gray cat is teaching her kittens to hunt. That bird is safe on his branch, but those squirrels had better watch out. Cats don't eat grass or insects. In June, there are enough insects to go around. The fields are hopping with insects, grasshoppers and leaf hoppers and tree hoppers. There are plenty of flies around in June, dragonflies, mayflies, and blue flies and butterflies. In June, there are enough horse flies to go around and around. In summer, the fields are full of flowers. Goats and sheep like flowers, bees like flowers, everyone likes flowers. In summer, the grass is hopping with fleas. No one likes fleas, they bite. July comes after June. It's hard to sleep on a night in July if the moon is full and shining and the summer stars are out. There are so many sounds to listen to. Frogs croak, crickets chirp, an owl is hooting to another owl. The old people on the porch are chatting in low voices about old times. A cow lows now and then. You can hear the steady clank of the conveyor carrying the sweet scented hay to the loft in the barn. You can hear the quiet laughter of the men as they work. You can hear a mother goose hissing softly, warning strangers from her nest in the shed. Sometimes, if everything is silent for a moment, you can hear the horses eating grass. August is the last summer month. The sky is blue, the sun shines. Late summer is a drowsy time of year. The days are hot and lazy. The sun shines and shines and shines. The cows doze away the noonday. The sheep graze and graze all day. The lambs are growing by the minute. Flowers are growing too. Flowers need hours of attention in August heat. The vegetables need attention too. Someone is stealing lettuce. What good is a watchdog? Almost asleep in a puddle of dust, a dog will still wag his tail as you walk by. The geese are quieter in August. All the noisy nesting is over for a while. The pig has tipped over her pail. Now she has a cool mud puddle to sleep in. You know it's hot when that old cat comes out for a breath of air. Then, sometimes quite suddenly, a fresh wind blows and the summer is over. Days are shorter. September is here. Now the days are cooler and a sense of change is in the air. September is the first month of autumn. Everyone begins to wake up after the heat of summer. The evenings are pleasant in September and the horses are lively. They are brought in from the field to be shod. The horses aren't afraid of the blacksmith. They are used to him. They don't mind having their shoes nailed on. It doesn't hurt. Autumn is a fine time for riding, even if it's raining. 
Most animals don't mind raindrops, but the big bay horse is ticklish and doesn't want to leave his stall. Animals can be very temperamental. Animals, just as people do, sometimes have to take medicine. They have to take warm medicine and they don't like it much. While most animals will take their medicine without too much of an argument, there are some who won't. Some dogs will eat their pill if it's wrapped up in cheese and they can't smell it. Some dogs don't care what they eat, no matter how it smells. Geese never need worming. They even eat worms. They are lucky. Sheep will stand quietly to take their medicine if you get a good grip on them and hold their noses. Most cats will eat their medicine mixed up with their dinner, but there is always a scratchy one who must be wrapped in a towel to have her pill pushed down. Some horses never make a fuss about pills. They don't taste so bad. Some horses are suspicious if pills are put in their grain. It's not the taste, it's the smell that worries them. It's not easy to hold a temperamental horse's nose, and you can't wrap up a horse in a towel. The vet has to be called, and he needs a helper to get the medicine down. Frightening as it is, it will all be forgotten in a minute. Animals don't hold grudges. October is a splendid month. The harvest is in, and early frost did away with all the insects. October days are dry and bright, but still the wild birds are restless and begin to flock together. The hay is in the barn, the corn is in the crib, there's not much left to eat in the fields, and the animals stay closer to the barnyard. The chickens go to roost earlier, and not so many eggs are laid. The children gather pumpkins. The squirrels are gathering nuts, filling their own storehouses with food. Soon the leaves will all be gone. At any moment, the migrant birds will rise and start their journey south. November. There is a frost nearly every night now. The air smells of snow in winter. First thin ice is forming on the farm pond. The north wind blows. The bare branches rattle. The forest is far from quiet in November before the winter settles in. The woods around the farm echo the huntsman's horn. Hunting hounds bay, the wild geese honk as they pass by, the saw and the woodsman are noisy too. In November, before winter comes finally, a few of the animals leave the farm. Some are sold, the finest are borrowed by the neighbors for breeding. A few ganders are sent along as gifts. Everyone likes ganders. You can't have too many ganders, except in the barn through the winter. December is the first winter month. The ground is often covered with snow. The days are dark and cold and night falls early. Now it is time to be in the barn. There is hay and grain to eat. There are places to play or hide or dream. There are warm straw beds. December is the last month of the year. Now it is time to catch up on sleep. Everyone goes to bed earlier in winter time. An old barn owl is the only one awake to greet the January of another year. No, here are the deer, come silently to the barnyard for a bit of salt and the little leftover hay. And the quiet fox is making certain the chickens are safe in bed this New Year's Eve.